Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another tutorial for the Age of Empires 2 DE Scenario Editor and this time I will talk about the Display Timer effect. Uh, display Timer is a very simple effect but if you don't know a little thing about it you basically can't use it at all so that's why I'm here. And this is the whole magic already. You see here we got Display Timer and um, we can use up to 10 different timers at the same time on the screen. You can use either years, minutes or seconds. So years are the in-game years which are used for Wonder and Relic Victory. Yeah, and minutes and seconds are basically based on the in-game um, tick time. So if you have a trigger which is set to timer 50, then that's 50 seconds in this here. So 60 seconds is one minute as you would expect. And that's how that works. But uh, now what do you do with those timers? Because those are the effects, those are not the condition timers, which are just once this runs out, something happens. The effect timer, as it is a display timer uh, effect, uh, it will show you the timer on the right half of the screen. And um, yeah, you can attach any message in this case. And to show the timer itself, you need to use percentage D. There's also this little box here uh reset this timer id so what this does is if you restart this trigger and you don't reset it it well doesn't get reset to 30 it will just stay on zero and uh, yeah if you activate this it will properly reset as you would like to do in this case as this here as you can see here is the timer for the next attack wave 30 seconds the effect for that wave itself is quite easy as well we got the 30 second timer condition. We create eight objects around this barracks, then an attack move, of course, and then we activate the attacker's timer again uh, to be able to reset it. Otherwise, it will just show you 30, run down to zero, and then it will stay there, or rather, will disappear. And with the activate trigger attacker's timer in this case, we just uh, well, reset it, we wake it up again and again. We could also just simply add attacker's timer into this trigger. So uh, use the display uh, timer effect in here, but then it will only show the timer once this one has run out. So the first wave will not actually have a countdown in front of it, which is a bit strange. So this is a little bit uh, less urgently solved, but it, it works better. So that's that. And then there's a second timer as well, the reinforcement timer. In this case, I use minutes, and here's important to actually also use a different timer. If you had timer zero in both cases, it will just uh, overwrite the first one. And here I use minutes just to showcase that as well. Here, two minutes and a little text. And again, percentage D. This time I did not reset the uh, click and reset this time ID because we only used this once. And then once the reinforcements are through, as I said, 100 seconds, um, we spawn a bunch of units. They have an attack move as well. And then we deactivate uh, the reinforcements, uh, oh, sorry, the attackers, the attackers timer. So those attacks stop coming in. in. And the deactivated, uh, the last activated trigger is reinforcements because um, this is also displayed as a um, as an objective. But once the reinforcements are here, this is not needed anymore, so we just deactivate it so it will disappear from the screen. Now, with that being said, I'll just demonstrate this real quick and see how it works in game. We've got our little prepared positions here. I'll just speed this up a little bit so the time is start run faster. See, so yeah, as soon as this went to zero, this uh, first wave spawned here and uh, went for our army right away. I know every time another wave will spawn, this is to zero that gets reset to 30 seconds. And in the background, uh, the time level of reinforcement continues to count down until that is on zero as well. But yeah, that's basically all that happens here. Now we got 
some uh, knights and step lances. The enemy does not send any further waves at this point, as you see here, the timer is not getting displayed anymore. And we can just uh, yeah, kill the barracks and won this little scenario here. Boom, there we go. So I hope this little tutorial can be of help to you. If you got any more questions regarding this effect or the triggers I used here or anything else, be sure to leave a question. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can do that. And I wish you much fun with creating new scenarios. And until next time, this has been Alkalim. I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.